Hello everyone, today we're going to check our beds to see if they have bed bugs. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly the steps that you need to take to uh, see if you have bed bugs in your bed. So, here's a bed. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to spread out your blanket like this and spread it out evenly so that there are no folds on top. And then you can uh, see if there are any bed bugs. You have to pay attention to small eggs that are colored white. They are one millimeter in size. And you have to pay attention to, to, the, uh, to the bugs themselves. They can be anywhere from, from two millimeters for very young bugs, but they can also be like half a centimeter uh, in size for the adult bugs. Okay, but you're definitely going to see them if you have the blanket spread out evenly. Then you're going to turn over the blanket. Make sure it's spread out evenly. And then you're going to scan the whole blanket again. So, same thing as, as before. Then the next step is you're going to have a look at the opening side. So here... I have the opening of my of my blanket sheets and I'm going to see if if there's a space here where the bed bugs could have entered. And so this is pretty small, but I would say this is something that bed bugs could have gone into. So first we're going to have to check the inside of the blanket because of that. But before we're doing that, we're going to have a look at the, the seams here in the opening to see if they have any bed bugs, because these are very good hiding places. There are no bed bugs here, okay. So, we're going to open the blanket. And Then get the bed sheets out. Okay, make a little bit of room. Then you're going to have a look at the sheets from the inside. So this is the side that was inside uh, before, and you're going to scan the, the insides of your blanket. You also want to make sure that there are no folds and that you don't miss a, sub, a single spot. Then you're going to turn over. See, there's something. I. This is <laughs> luckily just uh, some dirt, but uh, some. It was a uh, wool spot. But if you had bad bugs, it would look like this. So spread it out. See if there are any bed bugs, have a careful look, and then we're doing the same for the blanket itself. Spread it out, see if there are any bed bugs, especially across the seams, then turn it over. I have this here and I and we should look below that okay then check across the seams on the side when you do it take a little bit more time so is there something here no turn over check the seams on the other side okay and then you can uh, put your blanket in the blanket sheets again if you didn't find anything. Also maybe make sure that uh, you... <laughs> also maybe make sure that there are no bed bugs on your uh, bed sheets before you put your 
blanket onto the bed sheets because if you have bed bugs there then they can jump onto your blanket and you have your <laughs> blanket infested so that's not the cleverest idea of me to do it like this okay so next steps are are any pillows check them across the seams um, and you would repeat uh, the same procedure as before for the pillows as well you just uh, spread it out spread it out um, check the seams across the sides then take the pillow out of the out, out of the sheets and then invert the sheets and check the seats from the sheets from the inside okay so to keep the video short let's skip the pillows then if you have a bigger pillow do the very same and then you have the these bed sheets and they usually tend to have a bigger fold for example here I hope you can see it in the video but there's a big fold in here and these folds are places where where bed bugs hide so you pull the folds apart see that there are no bed bugs and you do this across the bed sheets then what's important is to lift your mattress and have a look below have a look uh, across the seams here turn over the seams and there seems to be nothing in here do it across all the sides of your mattress if you uh, have bed sheets like me then actually it would be even better to to uh, pull off the bed sheets and have a look from beneath and then you have a look at the mattress itself so that's how you check for bed bugs and if you find any in your bed then you should take uh, countermeasures against the bed bugs because they are um, they will make your life hell if you don't okay I hope this video was helpful if you have if, if you found any bed bugs in your bed or if you still suspect you have bed bugs um, they can hide elsewhere in your room so it would be also advisable to to check um, any small gaps in the floor that you might have or in the ceiling or behind any furniture bed bugs can hide anywhere uh, I've even heard that when you sleep in your bed they crawl to the ceiling and then let themselves drop onto you so they they don't have to stay in beds so if you want to fight against bed bugs if you still suspect you have bed bugs or if you found some in your bed then you have to get rid of them if you want to get rid of them using a proven system then I have something for you in the description down below it's a proven anti bed bug system it's just a simple uh, PDF guide uh, with instructions on what you can do at home uh, to get rid of the bed bugs and the special thing about this guide is that it combines several known methods such as heat and such as insecticide spray such as uh, the cold and such as washing your bed sheets and drying them in a very specific way and you also in a very specific way and also you uh, you combine these methods in the most effective way to make sure that your bed bugs will be gone for sure. So it's very simple to just get this guide and just follow the step-by-step -step instructions uh, one by one and then you're good to go, you're guaranteed to have no bed bugs anymore. So check the link in the description down below. I hope this was helpful. I hope you didn't find any bed bugs in your bed sheets and I hope this was the last video. Uh, you've ever had to watch about bed bugs again if you are still interested in what to do against bed bugs you can also check out the other videos on this channel and yeah if you have any questions then just ask them in the comments down below